Meanwhile, in line with the global ambition of net zero emission come 2050, Korea is actively advancing its so-called Hydrogen City Initiative. Our correspondent Lee Soo-jin has details. Cities in South Korea, known for their advanced technology and vibrant culture, are now going green. And one city in Gyeonggi-do province is leading the nation's Hydrogen City Initiative. Hydrogen cities are cities equipped to produce, use and transport hydrogen. Ansan City has turned to hydrogen to promote environmental sustainability and to revitalize its economy. In the city of Ansan, one of the first three hydrogen cities in the nation, 1.8 tons of gray hydrogen is produced daily at this facility with its three steam methane reforming reactors. Inside the reactor, methane, a cleaner fossil fuel, undergoes two reactions, including one with water, to produce hydrogen. But it's a rather meticulous process as the water needs to be purified. The hydrogen produced is then transported through 13 kilometers of pipelines, partially underground, two charging stations and hydrogen fuel cell power plants. The city also plans to partner with private companies to build more hydrogen charging stations, anticipating a larger demand for hydrogen vehicles due to their lower risk of fire. Hydrogen handling is already standardized, which ensures stability. When managed under high-pressure gas standards, the risk of explosion is minimal. And at this hydrogen fuel cell power plant, hydrogen is fed into fuel cells that will generate electricity through an electrochemical reaction. This electricity is currently being supplied to the hospital right next to it, as well as to more than 500 homes. But gray hydrogen has its drawbacks as carbon dioxide is emitted during production, which is why the city is developing green hydrogen produced by renewable energy such as wind. Electricity from wind turbines powers these two electrolyzers to split purified water into oxygen and green hydrogen, which is then compressed for efficient transport in tube trailers. Although this facility is still in the testing phase, the city expects technologies like this to one day be used nationwide. But efforts like this require significant funding to develop the necessary infrastructure technologies, which is why it's important to provide financial incentives and improve regulations in order to encourage investment. Lee Soo-jin, Arirang News.